it is what makes our character stand apart. And it's why casting is so important for us, because we want to find somebody that in or out of that costume, uh, in front of a green screen or just on a, uh, uh, you know, in a practical location, is going to have that heart and have those, those human flaws. The reason the Avengers is so great in the comics is because they're such different personalities, right? So you cast the best person for those personalities, you do your job right, when you put them together, it's going to be as fun as it is in the comics. What's great about the Avengers is that they were superheroes in their own comics, in their own mythology that you already knew, that you'd already read, that you're already fans of, and they're all coming together in, under one title. That's what was brilliant about it. That was so exciting about it. They're not a unified force. They're the Avengers, right? They are these, these utter individuals that are forced to stand next to each other to try to save the world. And they should not fit like a glove. They don't. They're not a perfect puzzle piece that comes together. You talk to Marvel fans, comic fans, ask them what their best moments, their favorite moments are over the years in the comics, you will almost always get a character moment out of them. It, it very rarely is it a pure action splash page moment. It is almost always a character moment. Um, and it's the, big, it's the big action moments that sell the movie, and that's what perhaps gets people in the theater. But it's the character moments that, uh, that have you go back again, that keeps you, keeps you going. And that's why we did the Avengers. That was the only reason to do the Avengers. This is the culmination of many, many years of work for us at Marvel Studios, right? It is the culmination of things that started on, on Iron Man 1. But what's great about the movie and what's great about the conceit is that this now represents just the first phase of what these movies can, can become.